Hello, I'm going to be repainting this uh, whale figurine and I'm excited to see the end result. I'm going to strip the paint first um, with this alcohol and so far so good. It's actually, it, it, um, I could tell that it worked. So I'm going to continue to use that and then um, yeah, let's see where it goes from there. Yeah, you'll just see it in a bit. Hello! I am here with this pot that I bought a really long time ago, but uh, I didn't know what theme I wanted to do exactly, or what I wanted to do, um, or how I wanted to paint it, or whatever. So, um, yeah, let's just find out and see how it turns out, and I'm gonna go ahead and start painting. Now I have to varnish this. Gosh dang, Nasor, as you can see. Final product, all varnished. Unfortunately, I had to glue it back, but looks looks good for what it is. Yeah, it is a hamburger. I know. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be doing more of these. Now uh, I'm gonna see if I can get that whale done in time. This is all like taking place at like different times, so I'll show you them at the end. Hello everybody, and we are back with the finished whale. I went ahead and made like a cute watermelon look, so yeah, um, all I want to do now is add the varnish. Unfortunately, I don't have matte varnish right now, but um, I, it doesn't really matter too much. I'll just use the gloss varnish, and I love it too, so it's, uh, I think it looks really, really cute and nice, and I think it'll look even nicer when I have the varnish on it. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is use some of this and I'm gonna put it in this cup like we did in the other video. Pour some of it. I don't need too much since it's not really a big, big project. Um, if I need more, I'll just add onto it, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna soak it in. And, uh, yeah, you'll see the before and after, I think. I'll put it in, actually. Sorry, I might skip a little because, um, sometimes you can't really see that I'm, like, new to this setup thing, so. <laughs> Sorry about that in advance. I'm not trying to go over it too often because I might ruin it. So. And I just want to let it dry a little bit before I keep going because, um, 
things can stick on it, like this. I don't want to keep going. So, um, how was your day? Mine was okay. Mm. Hey, yo, what the fuck? I heard something in my backyard run. I'm going to ignore it and pretend like everything's okay. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. I'm joking, by the way, but yes, there is something in my backyard. It fucking it sounds like it's freaking loud, so. Okay, there's a little small hair stuck inside it. Okay, I'm just being... Sorry, I'm being like super extra right now. Okay, and it dried pretty quickly. Like I thought, so... I can do this final area here on the mouth and all that good stuff. Jab its mouth with the brush. Give it that nice look, a nice polished look. And uh, give me one moment, let me just do the finishing touch. And here is the final product. Very shing sparkle sparkle shiny. Okay, that is way too much. But yeah. Sorry for that jump scare. Um, <laughs> if this would focus. Yeah. Alright. Uh, yeah. That's basically, um, what I got for this one. I'm gonna show you what I actually have. So I'm actually also um, going to be coating these in, since I just gessoed these as well. And uh, I hope you guys can check it out, because I'm going to be doing that in a different video. And yeah, I'm going to upload it uh, pretty soon after this one, because I want to get um, these done and I want to do them. Maybe individually, maybe all in the same video, but I have a lot more like these, and I'm going to keep, you know, doing more videos like these, so, um, thank you for watching. I appreciate it, and I'm heading out now. See ya.